Hey guys, I'm going to show you a simple tutorial today in Unity, which is all about the cloth modifier. And what I'm going to show you um, to do is to create a sort of washing line effect, because sometimes in games you want sort of dynamic elements. So clothes can be a thing that you could run through. It doesn't have to be clothes. It could be um, a poster. It could be sheets. It could be anything. It could be hanging out of a window. Your character could run past it. You want something that's got physics on it to make it a little bit more interesting um, so really all I've got in my scene is a plane a directional light and a first person controller all I've got here is just my um, if you see the object floating that's gonna here you'll see the object floating and that's just gonna be my my washing line for this example and what I want to do is go to game object create other then go to cloth and you'll get a the cloth and you'll get the cloth system out but the problem with this cloth is the fact that it is actually on a plane in itself and with it being on a plane you can't see behind the plane so it can be a bit of a problem you can make it um, two sided in a way but really the way, I'd, the way I'm going to do it is all I'm going to do is I made some meshes in 3ds Max and put some edge loops in it because you need edge loops to actually let the uh, mesh bend as if it would realistically so I've got a box here that I created and I need to rotate it so I've just made this bit of so I've just made this a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on and we'll put it very close to that plane as if it's as if it's hanging off maybe make it a little bit bigger and just pull it underneath that plane and what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that I'm going to pull it to the other end so we've got two now two with the same thing and what I'll do is for something basic I'll just put um, I'll just put the dirt texture on it just so you can see what's going on and then what I'm going to do is duplicate another two of these and I'll take one and I'll change the mesh again to box one and what I'll do is rotate this and bring it up toward the washing line again and I'll put a different texture on it this time so it looks the um, terrain dirt so it looks a bit like a camo top so we've got all our cloth and modifiers in there really what we're going to do is select each piece of cloth there's varying different elements on each side but there's something at the bottom called attach colliders and it's depending how many colliders you've got you can have one two you can have as many as you want and you just need to pair in all the um, the cloth modifiers to the actual object that it will hang from so if we set this to one and we set all of them to one and press enter we get an actual collider option and what we're going to do is we're going to change that to cube one I forgot to press enter so if we can just drag that in cube one just drag that in cube one and again cube now that's all we really need to do for those you can adjust varying amounts of settings but what I'm going to show now is I can run around in the scene and I can run into each of the objects and they'll act like they would if they were on an actual washing line in your game so you can actually it actually acts like cloth wood and it gives you an inter interesting effect and something very basic that you can use just to simulate all sorts of different things in your game really easily so anyway that's pretty much it thanks and don't forget if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers